Welcome back to Space Rocks, the Godot game engine series where we're making a Asteroids clone. In the last part, we did some work on making the asteroids explode when we hit them and split into smaller ones. And so this time we're going to add some nice looking explosions and sound effects to our asteroids. Okay, now that we are shooting the asteroids, we want to add some nice looking explosions. So I'm going to make a new scene for that. And we're going to use an animated sprite to handle this. And I've added some art in here of an explosion it has a eight frames of animation. So make a new Right frames, I'm going to call this the regular explosion. This is the normal size one. Maybe we'll add some different sizes for the different size explosions, um, or sorry, for the different size asteroids after. But there we go. Okay. And for this one, I think the FPS should be about 10. We want the loop to be off because I don't want it to repeat. Uh, let's see, we're going to start on zero. It's not playing. If I hit playing, you can see it run through once. And I think that's all we need. All right, let's just name this explosion and save it in the scenes folder and add a script. All right, all we're gonna do here with this script really, we don't even need the ready function because what we're gonna do is attach the event for finished. We're gonna connect that. And we're just gonna say when it's finished, we'll delete it. All right, so when we spawn one of these, it's gonna play out and then it's going to disappear. So now on our main, we just want to instance one of these whenever we blow up an asteroid. So explosion, we're going to preload that. And then down here is where we explode the asteroid. So we just need to Create an instance of this. We need to add it as a child. We need to set its position to the position of the asteroid we exploded. And then we just need to tell it to play. And that should be that. So let's go over here and shoot this guy. And it comes onto the screen. A little slow, I think. I'm going to adjust the speed a little bit. Maybe 12 frames per second. I think that'll be a little better. Yeah. Okay. Looking much nicer. All right, let's get some sound in here now. So we're going to go to the player scene and we're going to add a sample player. Sample player with the little speaker icon next to it. This is going to be the shoot, shoot sounds. And we have a little warning here because it needs a sample library. Well, right here, samples is null. We're going to make a new library over here and add some stuff. So in the audio folder, I have some different wave files. I'm going to use laser one and laser two. Laser one sounds like this. Laser two sounds like this. So I have some options on how we can, you know, make our lasers sound as we have upgrades and things like that. So playing a sound is 
super easy in your code. You just have to tell it when you want it to happen. Go over to our player script and let's get that node. And we're going to use that down in our shoot function. Our shoot function here fires off when we are able to shoot. So we're just going to say, just put this on the end. Shoot sounds dot play. And then you just put the name of the sound that you want to play. Actually, I think I want two for this one, and that should be it. There we go, much better. Now we just need to get a sound happening during the explosion, and we're going to do it the exact same way. Okay, so in main, I have just made another sample player called Explosion Sounds, EXPL Sounds, and I'm just playing explosion number one. I've got three explosion sounds in here. Uh, which we could use for different things or even randomize, but I'm keeping it simple right now. And you know, later we could even go in and make uh, different explosions here that are named the same as the sizes, right? So big, medium, small, and tiny, and then have matching sounds. So we would play, and we would just use the size variable here to play the matching one. And we can do that at some point, but I'm not ready, really ready to do that yet. This is good enough for us to be able to um, have a little bit of feedback when we go step up. Okay. And finally, we're going to do some music by adding a stream player node. And the stream player is what you use for background music because it just plays, it doesn't load the whole music file, which might be a big song, something like that, and it uh, streams it as it goes and just plays it in the background on its own thread. And that is what we want. So we need something in the stream property, right? And I happen to have an AUG file here from Open Game Art that works pretty well. We put that in, in there, and we just have to tell it to play when we start the new game. And so in our, I'm just going to put this in our ready. I'm just going to say uh, get node music dot play. And that's all we have to do. There we go. So we have some background music. We've got some sound effects. All right, it's starting to get fun. Now in the next video, I want to do some more work on the player and specifically I want to add a couple things here I'm going to add a sprite it's going to be our shield around the player ship because we have a nice shield graphic from our sprite sheet here there's actually where is it uh, there it is there's actually three levels of shield. I'm just going to grab the full one here. And we need to resize that because just like we scaled the ship to 0.6, we're going to want to scale the shield the same. Right? Actually might make it even a little smaller. Yeah, so it looks like it's around the ship. And so the shield is going to just be the visual indication that we have our shields on and we'll be able, we can just hide and show it to, to make it look like the ship has you know it's shield up shield down but it's also pretty boring when we're flying around and so I'm going to add a little animated sprite here and this is going to be the exhaust from the ship's engine that is going to have a couple of frames in it. 
and the one we're, ones we're going to use are there's a bunch of different animations for different kinds of exhaust in here as well all these ones so we're just going to grab one of these blue ones here got this one and we got this one and we need to move those down a bit so i'm going to take the position of the exhaust and i'm going to shift it uh let's see 30 maybe a little more 35. yeah so it looks like it's coming out the back of the ship i'm going to put playing all right and if you zoom out that it's going to look like no, not quite what I wanted. Let's try this other one. Yeah, see, it looks like, kind of like it's pulsing. Okay, so we want that to be on when we're thrusting and off when we're not. So we're just going to add into our code to turn it to show and hide it, right? Just set it to visible or not visible, right, which is our handy little property right here. So we already have here in our script uh, where we're thrusting or not thrusting. And so this is where we just want to set that property too. So we're going to say get node exhaust. And we're going to, if we're thrusting, we're going to set um, we're going to say show and then we do the same thing take the same line and we're going to duplicate it here and put hide and now when we want to right, when we thrust we have a little fire coming out the back and when we let go of the key it's not there all right gives the ship a little bit more personality. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series and I will see you in the next video.